two volts, that's it. Zero amps. 61 volts, 15 watts, 0.3 amps. I don't know what the problem is. I mean, we got blue skies. I mean, sure, the sun's not that high yet, but we should be getting more than that. What the heck is going on here? Climb up here. Ah, well, there's your problem. All right, just kidding. We did get a little bit of snow last night. Not much, just about an inch. And before that, we got some rain, some sleet, you know, ice and all that kind of stuff. So we got a little dusting of snow on top, and below that is ice. We're just going to try to clear off what we can, and hopefully whenever the sun hits the panels, it'll warm them up enough to melt the rest. Oh, and of course my tools are an ice scraper from the truck, and this one is like a trucker's windshield cleaner thingy. Uh, that's really all I got. So, let's get to it. Well, I got the one inch of snow off and the rest is ice. It's probably a good, I don't know, half inch, maybe more in places. Yeah, it's pretty thick. So I was able to get a little bit of the edge off, but not a whole lot. It's on there pretty good. I'll try to scrape it with the ice scraper just a little bit so we can get more of the panel showing. So hopefully we can heat them up just a little bit better, but might just have to wait until later today and come back up here. Uh, I'll go ahead and scrape off that other rack as well. Well, I didn't make a whole lot of progress. I just chipped away as much as I could without breaking the ice scraper. All right, and that's basically just a little bit on each panel. I'm uh, going to have to wait for the sun to hit them fully, at least in another hour or two, and maybe they'll warm up just enough, and maybe we can get a little bit more off. Time now is 10.40 a.m. And yes, these panels over here are sitting on the ground. Don't worry, later on I'm going to be putting these on a rack. This is more of just like a test bed. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and clean these off as well. I got at least the tops and the bottoms kind of cleared off just a little bit and I just scraped a little bit in the center. What I'm trying to hopefully do is once the sun hits the panels it'll start to warm them up and then kind of start melting the rest. So we'll come back here in just a couple hours and see the progress. All right back down here let's check on it real quick. All right so we're up to a hundred volts now 99 and look at that, we're putting out one amp. Nice. All right, so that's like covered in ice panels. And if we check up here, oh, boom, 200, ooh, 240 watts I saw there. Four amps, 112 volts. Nice. So it looks like we can get some power out of some panels that are completely covered in ice and snow. All right, we'll let those uh, warm up a little bit, and then we'll go back out and check in about an hour or so. One hour later. Good job, buddy. All right, it's about an hour later. So let's see what we got now. 185, 75 volts, up to six amps. Nice, 360 watts. And then if we go to this guy up here, ooh, look at that. 12, 13 amps, almost, ooh, 700 watts. Nice. All right, we'll go outside and take a look and see how much ice and snow has melted. All right, we'll check these first since they're on the ground. Look at that. One hour later and it's all gone except for that little tiny bit. Let me grab that real quick. 13 amps out of these, which is great. We'll get just a hair more looking real good so these are 200 watts 
a piece. 205 in perfect conditions, which we definitely don't have right now. All right, so that is one hour later. It's not all that much better, but we are getting like, what, five or six amps out of this, which is crazy. You can also see we're not even in full sun yet because sun's so low in the sky and these trees right here. Crazy. I'll go ahead and try to remove a little bit more and see what happens. All right, so since the panels have kind of warmed up a little bit in some areas, some of this is actually coming off real easy. Well, not that one. But some of these upper ones are. Look at that. Comes right off. Another good thing right about now is I can clean the bottom muddy part of the panel. All right, that one's nice and clean. There's a few mud streaks on it, but that's okay. It'll be a hell of a lot better than what it was. So now we'll move on to this one. Boom, there we go. We got all the ice and the snow off of every single panel. Nice. Uh, surprisingly, it didn't take all that long. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer because some of that ice was really, really thick. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, if I have any suggestions for anybody is if you're putting your panels on your roof, you know, in an area where it does snow, I would definitely angle them a lot more than I did. I just went with the natural roof angle, which is like only three or four degrees. This whole area is like over my garage and patio. You know, I didn't want to, I just didn't want to angle them. That was all. Uh, this is great for the summertime, but for wintertime, it is horrible. Matter of fact, what you should do is just put a ground mount down there on the ground somewhere, because then you can angle it any angle you want at any time, and you can get to it you know, if it snows. That's actually what I should do. I just have too many trees, honestly. That's it. Uh, so does my neighbor. They got a bunch of trees. Even if I removed all of my trees, uh, I think the neighbor's trees would still interfere. So I don't have a whole lot of options other than changing the angle. That's about it. All right, anyway, uh, we're gonna go inside and see how many watts we're making. Uh, just a reminder, we don't have full sun or anything like that. We do have a nice haze or cloudiness way out there. So yeah, we'll see what we got. All right, time now is one o'clock. We just finished up. Let's see what we got. 185 volts, 38 amps. Very nice. Actually, it's going up just a little bit. Nice. Oh, 2.15. All right, we'll go over here and check this guy. Ooh, look at that. 870 watts. I have never seen that from here yet, at least from those panels. Holy crap. Jeez. Almost 900. 860. 860. 864. 870. Very nice. Alright, just a couple quick little things before I go. All I was going to say is if you're in a location that gets a lot of snow, which we normally do, we just haven't had much this winter. Uh, I've actually had over a foot of snow on those panels and let me tell you trying to remove that sucks. So uh, what I was going to say is if you're in a location that does get snow and you have solar panels on your roof definitely go for a higher pitch or higher angle. Like I said before I just went with the natural roof angle that's up there above my garage and my patio. It's like three or four degrees it sucks for the winter time. Summertime, it's great. 
If you're able to angle your panels, well actually most people's roofs already have a better angle, so you're already gonna be better off than I am. Now if you do have to go up there to help remove the snow, you could remove a little bit, that way the sun hits the panel, the panel warms up, and it slowly lets everything kinda slush off the panels. An even better option if you're able to is do a ground mount. That way you can do angles for the summertime and the wintertime, plus in the wintertime the angle is steeper, that way snow kind of falls off a lot better and you're actually able to get to it. Similar to the panels that I have sitting over there on the ground. Yes, they're on the ground right now. I just kind of threw them out there to test it out. I think whenever it gets just a little bit warmer, I can remove the solar water heater panels because I'm not really using those right now. I can put an actual solar panel rack over there and load it up with panels and it'll be on the ground. And when it snows, I should be able to remove that much easier. All right, well, that's pretty much all I got. That's what it's like having solar in a place that does get snow, you know, on the roof or on the ground. Ground mount, much easier to remove the snow. All right, well, that's pretty much all I got. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other videos for solar and battery projects. Like that smash button, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, and Andy, if you're watching, that red shirt that I sent you that said your weather's only 3.5 amps out, Two hours later. 130 volts, three amps. 65 volts, 32 watts, 0.5 amps. And what's going on now? Oh yeah, no sun. I'm gonna need that shirt back.